God has a message for you today. Let's dive deeper into this garden analogy. Picture yourself with a whole bunch of different seeds, some for joy, some for love, some for courage, and you're out there in your metaphorical garden, ready to sow them. Each seed represents a hope, a dream, or a desire for the future. Now, when you plant your roots in Jesus, it's like you're choosing the best soil possible for those seeds. It's rich, nourishing soil that gives your hopes and dreams the perfect environment to grow and flourish. You're not just throwing those seeds into any old dirt, you're intentionally placing them in the care of someone who knows exactly how to help them grow. As time goes on, and you continue to nurture your garden of faith, something incredible starts to happen. Those seeds begin to sprout and shoot up from the ground. Your faith in Jesus acts like sunlight, warming them and encouraging them to reach for the sky. Your prayers are like rain, refreshing and nourishing those tender shoots. And before you know it, your garden is in full bloom. Your life is bursting with color, fragrance, and beauty in all areas. Your relationships are filled with love and understanding. Your heart is at peace. Even when storms rage around you, your dreams start to come true in ways you never thought possible. But here's the thing tending to a garden takes time and effort. You've got to water those seeds, pull out the weeds, and protect them from pests. Similarly, growing your faith in Jesus requires commitment and dedication. You've got to spend time in prayer, study His Word, and surround yourself with a community of believers who can support you along the way. So, when you're faced with challenges or uncertainties, remember the garden you're cultivating in your heart. Keep planting those seeds of hope. Keep trusting in Jesus and watch as your life blossoms into something truly extraordinary. Let's dive deeper into this journey you've been on. Think back to all those moments when you felt like you were barely hanging on, when life threw curveballs your way and you had to summon every ounce of strength just to keep going. Those were tough times, weren't they? But here's the thing you made it through. Despite the challenges, despite the doubts and fears, you persevered. And that, my friend, is something truly remarkable. Take a moment to reflect on how much you've grown, how much you've learned along the way. Each obstacle you faced was like a lesson in disguise, teaching you resilience, patient you resilience, patience, and the power of perseverance. You didn't just survive those tough times you thrived. You turned adversity into opportunity, stumbling blocks into stepping stones. And now, as you stand on the threshold of a new chapter, take a deep breath and look around you. Can you feel it? The air is charged with anticipation, with the promise of better days ahead. You've put in the hard work, laid the groundwork for something incredible, and now it's time to reap the rewards. But here's the kicker, you're not just prepared for blessings, you're deserving of them. You've earned every bit of goodness that's coming your way. So, embrace it with open arms, knowing that you've earned it through blood, sweat, and tears. And as you embark on this next leg of your journey, remember this, you're not alone. You've got a support system that stretches far and wide, cheering you on every step of the way. And I'm right here too, rooting for you with all my heart. So, thank yourself for how far you've come. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small they may seem, and get ready. Because the blessings that are coming your way, they're going to blow your mind. You've got this. Picture me as the steady rock in the ever-changing currents of life. While everything around you may shift and change, I remain constant and unchanging. Investing your time and energy in deepening your relationship with me 
is like building a strong foundation for your life, one that can weather any storm. In a world where everything is fleeting and temporary, I offer you something eternal, a love that knows no bounds and a presence that never fades. So instead of chasing after temporary pleasures or worldly pursuits that leave you feeling empty, why not prioritize me? Putting me first in your life doesn't mean neglecting your responsibilities or abandoning your dreams. It simply means recognizing that I am the source of true fulfillment and happiness. When you align your priorities with mine, everything else falls into place. Spending time with me doesn't have to be complicated or overwhelming. It can be as simple as taking a moment each day to quiet your mind, reflect on your blessings, and express gratitude for all that you have. It can be found in the beauty of nature, the laughter of loved ones, and the peace that comes from knowing you are never alone. I love you more deeply than words can express, and my greatest desire is to see you thrive and flourish in every aspect of your life. So open your heart to me, my dear friend, and let me shower you with my endless grace and boundless love. Together, we can navigate the UPS and downs of life with strength, courage, and unwavering faith. Picture this Jesus. He's like the ultimate best friend you could ever imagine. He's not just someone you know about, he's someone you can really count on. Someone who's always there for you, no matter what. He's like the biggest superhero ever, but even cooler because he's real. Now, here's the really amazing part Jesus said something that totally blew everyone's minds. He said, Hey, if you really, really believe in me, like with all your heart, and you trust that I came back to life after dying, then you're going to be saved. It's like a guarantee, no doubts about it. Now, you might be thinking, hold up, Jesus came back to life after dying? How's that even possible? Yeah, I know, it sounds pretty unbelievable, but here's the thing Jesus actually did it. He faced death head on and came out victorious proving once and for all that he's more powerful than anything else out there. It's like the greatest comeback story of all time. So, when we believe in Jesus and really trust that he rose from the dead, it's like we're saying, Jesus, you're not just some ordinary guy, you're the real deal. You're the ultimate boss, the one who can conquer anything, even death itself. And when we put our faith in him like that, Jesus saves us. He shields us from all the bad stuff in the world, like fear, loneliness, and even death. So, if you want to experience that kind of amazing, unstoppable protection, all you have to do is believe in Jesus and trust that he's got the power to save you. It's like putting on the strongest armor ever knowing that nothing can touch you because Jesus has got you covered. It's the most incredible offer you'll ever receive. Type Amen if you agree.